Hi, Tim Qualls, along with Greg Beeson down here at the Newcastle Farmers Market located on Route 13 and 273 coming together for you folks coming over from New Jersey, Philadelphia, that area. Real easy to find. Head for the Newcastle County Airport right across the street. They take up the entire half block with nothing but Farmers Market. When I say Farmers yeah, Market, Greg, place. One of What's my up, favorite Tim? places to come shop each and every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because it's important people understand it's only open Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, right. and Saturday, 9 to 9, Sunday, 10 to 6. But I love coming here not just for the shopping, not just for the food, but I love to watch the people. I mean, it, it's, it's like the boardwalk yeah, inside. Well, this, this is what <laughs> it is. I mean, when you can, we're at Alex's Seafood Restaurant right now. When yes, I see are. that, you come. You can take buy stuff to go and all that, just like you can all the other places. But they got one of the nicest restaurants to come in and sit down and enjoy one of the best seafood menus on the East Coast, the by, by far none, because they buy all this stuff fresh, Greg. Oh, they've been here for over 60 years, so they must be doing something right. You know, Tim, the market opened in 1953, if you can believe that. Oh. And it's uh, grown uh, over the years with a couple additions, and we're now we're probably about 80 inside stores under one roof with our big outdoor flea market that I know you love very much and we're in we're in one of the oldest stores in the market which uh, is Alex's Seafood uh, and they have been doing uh, they've been doing this for decades and they do it well and they have great food sit down restaurant beer wine you can really uh, get anything you want in the in the world of seafood Tim yeah, and when you say that, one of the things they've got is some of the best tastes in soup that you've ever had Absolutely. in your entire life. I mean, uh, they got they seafood. Oh. Perfected it over the years, I yeah. guess. But yeah, yeah, their New England clam chowder, this is what you have here. That's the white, uh, creamy, uh, famous New England clam chowder. And then, of course, this is their vegetable seafood, crab seafood uh, soup here, which I get once a week every winter because it's my favorite. And yeah, they have fresh oysters and fresh clams and crab legs and fresh seafood fish. Of course, they have an extensive uh, menu and, and they just added this Alex's new hottest item, Hellfire Shrimp. So apparently, if you can eat eight of these shrimp, which is what the order comes in, in under two minutes, you get a free t-shirt. And I've understood that Nobody We're not know. getting them, because yeah, I'm yeah. not doing that on my TV. Cameraman, my cameraman, my Apparently, uh, if you go, go to Alex's Alex Seafood and Clam Bar Facebook page, you can watch some of the guys trying to do it. Apparently, one guy couldn't get through four. So, I'm, I'm not doing that, Tim. So, you can go to the Facebook and watch well, that well, craziness. I like hot food. I, I'm, I'm telling you, because I've crazy. seen you eat the hottest things in this market. I have seen you eat the hot pickles. When you're talking about, uh, you know, I have eaten some Newcastle stuff. Farmers Market. I want people to understand an Irishman, what an environment bad. you're coming into. I mean, it is, uh, and it's not different. This is one. If you look at it, the original in Delaware. I mean, this is yeah. the farmers market of Delaware. Yeah, it's, it's, this was out in a rural area. There was a dirt road when this place oh, opened oh, out, yeah. out on Route 13, which is a busy thoroughfare. We're inside a huge shopping plaza, so we have you know multiple ten, multiple tenants inside this big big plaza. And the farmers market was here all by itself, and you know retail grew uh, obviously around it. And uh, you know one of the biggest attractions here, which was from the day it opened, was fresh produce. We have two humongous produce stands uh, at each end of the market, uh, and and the prices and, and that's a huge attraction. People come from all over to shop for their produce here because some of the prices are like you know the freshness, of course, is is the quality, but then the prices you can't beat. Not only so I, prices. I, I, I'm going to mention a couple of things. Yeah, well, not not only prices, but the unique items you can find. You can get there. stuff there you can't you find can't, in your you can't local find grocery, in any grocery store. So a lot of different store. ethnic groups come yeah, in and shop. Yeah. But yeah. listen to these deals. This is pretty. This is pretty much every week. So you can get six lemons right now for a dollar ninety nine. I don't know where else you can get that. You can get eight limes for a dollar ninety nine. Uh, blueberries right now two for three for six ounce packages. That's that's a great price. You can't this beat time that. of year. Yeah. This time of year, uh, fresh grape tomatoes two for three dollars. And these are pretty. They don't fluctuate much. You're going to find low prices throughout. I mean, all the peppers are now a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, because uh, you're, you're saying all this, and it, it, it sounds like you're reading specials, yeah, but I go on there every week, and it's, it's, those are, you know, it's, it's pretty much specials every week. They have bananas, 49 cents a pound. 
But that's just some of the prices that, you know, oh, avocados, those are expensive. Two right. for three bucks. Two for three dollars. For an avocado. You, you go into a, sometimes they're two for just one. Oh, oh. So they're able to buy in large quantities and that's why they're able to offer these prices or they wouldn't, you know, be able to, what, you know, make, make a living. So it's a huge attraction for the market. And then, you know, we also have some people don't realize and what a lot of people come here for because you can't get it anywhere else is we have a lot of specialty stores. We have, and I'm going to use my cheat sheet, you can come in and get eyeglasses, you can get you can get your vision checked, you can get eyeglasses, two for 99 for a pair of eyeglasses, that's a great price, right? I, I don't now that's something I, I don't know where you can get you, a better price you, than that. You added that to the market here not too long back, uh, been a great success. Yeah, there was one here a long time ago and right. he retired and then somebody came along and filled the shoes I guess. And, right. uh, it's popular. He's been and, here a and, while. People and designer it. frames. Yeah, yeah designer that's, frames. I, I want people I, to understand. You're yeah, not yeah. getting, you know, you get designer frames, but uh, there's so many things inside the market, Greg. Shoe repair. Where can you get your soles redone and your shoes shined, and they and leather bag uh, straps fixed and you know old stuff that you think you need to throw out or replace. You come here and they can fix it all for you at Fast Feet. That's another uh, big draw for people. You see a lot of the local police officers coming in and getting their boot shine. And you see a lot of the guys that uh, you know work out on the, out you know with Del Dot and just just different construction jobs come in and get their soles redone. Women get their high heels redone. You can come in and get your heels uh, fixed. So there's a there's a huge um, you know and, desire for something like that for people would, who don't want to spend a lot of money. I, I, I love so they're it because, saving because uh, once a year they do the cancer drive as well where they'll put they pink do, yes. heels yeah, on yeah, they yeah, do. That's, and yeah, soles that's on them and stuff and uh, but uh, best shoe repair in town but, but nice thing, you drop it off on a Friday and, yeah. and pick it up next Friday I mean it's yeah. that easy and sometimes depends on what it is they'll do it right there on the spot for you and they can fix like I said leather bag straps and stuff like that so a lot of women bring their purses in or uh, you know and, and get repairs done there and they can fix zippers and stuff like that and we have a seamstress Tim that you can come in and get Anything done in the world of seamstressery? I don't know if that's a word. But, <laughs> I mean, that's a huge draw that um, people call the, on the phone. I heard you have a seamstress. I heard you have a seamstress. I mean, those are hard how, things to how, find. I was going to say, how difficult is it to find one today? I, I don't know I don't, where you can I don't go know either, now. but she does I amazing work. I know where you work. can Her go. You Jasmine. go to Newcastle that's Farmers right. Market. That's where you go. Jewelry repair. People um, that want to, you know, need to get either their ring resized. Some people, you know, have... Uh, you know their, their finger will change sizes and they you can come in and do that at fashion link and they do jewelry repair there Batteries change. Uh, you can come sell jewelry to them if you wanted to you know um, you know they buy, gold. Buy, they buy gold and they buy silver and they do watch battery changes well, so where, you know your watch stops so you're like oh now now what yeah well it's a full I'm service here. it's a full service jeweler he's been in business because he's one of the guys been here in the market for 20 plus years yeah. 30 plus years over so, over yeah. 30 years I yeah, think, yeah. yeah yeah a lot of the uh, stores in here have been in the market for 20 to 30 years which is incredible that's you know it's unheard of uh, a long a long time to operate a business locally and you know with online uh, shopping it's it's hard but the the it's hard to survive in the retail environment when you're brick and mortar but the the uh, attraction here is like I said the produce but then we have great food as you know, we're in well, Alex's I'm, here. Speaking, got, speaking of that, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm, you know, you ordered something, so you got something coming your way, and I, I just want to give people an idea. You know, you, you come in here, and, and and it's the menu. How do you pick what you want? It's I like mean, an encyclopedia. It, it, it it's an goes encyclopedia on of and seafood. on, and and then you come over. You know, it's just here, and I got to remind people because one of the things that you don't find. But they actually have a, a bar you come into, sit down, and have some oyster soup and a couple of pit, glasses of beer or whatever the case might be. So you got that going on for you as well. Yeah, the bar uh, is uh, a nice spot to watch the, the football games or uh, you know whatever sports games are playing on on Sunday. Uh, you know, and then we have our Pennsylvania Dutch section, which maybe we'll have time to visit later today. That's a huge draw out here. They're only open Friday and Saturday. We should mention the right. Pennsylvania Dutch section. And then we have some of the best pizza in Delaware, great Mexican food. We have a nice Indian restaurant. We have a, a couple of all-American classic breakfast, lunch, dinner, Young's restaurant, grill out, tons of food. So, you know, with the Pennsylvania Dutch section where you can get fresh Lancaster County meats, cheeses, baked goods, there's candy store over there, there's fresh sausage sandwiches, 
We have a barbecue stand where you can get roast history chicken, some of the best ribs in town. I know you love the ribs. Great stuffed mushrooms and great home 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 style cooking over there. And you know, food, food, food throughout the. Yeah. Have, you know, got eight, 80 plus shops. I would yeah, say. clothing, yeah, yeah. gift stores, food? toy many? stores. Probably over 15 places where you can get food. You know, you can get a Philadelphia style pretzel in here. Of course, you can get fresh donuts in here. You can get uh, the little mini donuts in here. You got the pickle lady. I mean, we're going through it pretty quick. So yeah. you really have to come see it if you've never been here before to get the whole show. But our website, NewcastleFarmersMarket.com, is a great way to visit the uh, the, the market on your uh, on your PC, and you can kind of look at, at you know some of our pictures and some of the store listings. We have a great map that shows all the stores that we have in here. You know, we have a wig shop in here, Tim. That's been here for a long, long when time. My wife, when my wife went through her battle with cancer, you know, we came out A lot of people do that. Uh, there's a lot of people come here because this He's guy- He's known all over the, well, the well, tri-state area. This for, guy's been doing it for years. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, Yeah, so he comes in- it's very and private, got, very, he's very- He's got a private area back there. He takes, takes you back takes there. Takes super good care of you. And he knows what he's doing with fitting the wigs. That's, that's, yeah, that's, he knows, that's, yeah, he knows yeah. What, yeah. what'll work for you. So, yeah, you know, yeah. that's another specialty. Uh, type of play, uh, beauty shop, shop that you, barber shop. You know, you yeah. got that out here as well. So you bike know. repair. Yeah. I mean, you you name it. I mean, it's uh, it's all under one roof. Uh, you know, it's it's a place that's serving the community for for over 60 years. And oh, yeah, look at that! that. See, that's the crab. Ooh, that's their wait. famous crab cake sandwich. Thank you, Barbara. Yeah, and uh, bar and it gives the idea employees stay out here. They don't go anywhere either. Yeah, I mean, Barbara's been out here, I don't know, you know, since the beginning. That, yeah, so. but Family owned and operated? Yeah. That's the kind of the personal touch you get. You don't get that shopping online, no, no. you know what I mean? But uh, I, I just want to say, because I've been coming to this market for 28 plus years, and uh, coming out here on a, on a weekly basis, I, I think I might have missed a couple weeks along the way. <laughs> but I've seen the market change, and my hat's off to you and, and the owners and, and stuff getting together and making a plan. How do we make the farmer's market better than what it's been over the last 50 years? And yeah, it's, first you added the Pennsylvania Dutch section, and then you a come, big, that you was come a big in, move. you know, you watching, talking, Tim, watching you develop here. this into a very family oriented oh, market mm -hmm. that not mm -hmm. that it already wasn't but just watching you develop this and being sure that when the family comes out here everybody has something to enjoy the kids the, the moms the dads and, and you do that one of the things you added into it was the market stage and that's last, the community area last so. week i understand you had to nearly make reservations to come to Newcastle it Farmers was, Market because yeah. you, you did some things for the kids. Yeah, we had a, a Disney Frozen characters come out and do some uh, do some entertaining for the kids, and then you know we we'll be doing that again in March. But every month we have a family fun day where we have a magic show, Magic Bob. He's been doing it for a long time. And we talked about him coming painting. on the show. And there's not a better mag magician in no, the tri-state area. It really is a good kids. show. Yeah, it's not yeah. a joke. It's it's real magic. It's real magic. Stuff. And he. We do that. I think we have our next show coming up on uh, the 15th of February. So that's uh, something we do once a month. We have a calendar on our website that you can visit to see when that's coming. So if you wanted to, if you're looking for uh, something to do for the, with the kids on a Saturday or Sunday, depending on when we have it, it's either one of those two days, a couple hours show, it starts at noon, free face painting and balloon twisting. Everything's free. You know, you can come in. Everything's and sit down. what? Everything's free. F R E E. Free. Free. So yes. I don't really need reservations. I just come out here and get it all for just free. Just come and get it for free. You got to pay for the food. And <laughs> yeah, stuff, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you know they uh, they're a family that comes and does their entertainment, and it's really great. I think we do have another big show coming up in March with some uh, uh, some maybe some superhero characters. We're, we're figuring that out, but coming soon that'll be on our website we'll let people know what we're doing but and that's a huge attraction for the kids love it yeah well they that's what it. i say because it's, it's important to you to entertain kids and i've watched it i hate to say it but i've watched it as, as your kids grow your entertainment changes because you're learning mm. like not only got to do it for these kids but i got to do it for these kids and, and teenagers and everything else but the biggest thing the biggest draw in my family we were out here saturday night over at young's Yep. Yeah, and one of my favorite places to go sit, and 
if, chicken dumplings. My, well, my kids. in the world. Do you, you know my kids the one that drives me to young? Because you know me, I like the the Mexican restaurant over here. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. But he's he, he's the one that drives me to young because they. He says they have the best chicken, whatever he orders, and but they. Oh it, yeah, he's. Yeah, it's home cooked. He's, he's stuff. pretty skilled. Yeah, it's home cooked cooking. stuff. You know, and he's his, always proud of great breakfast. His dumplings, everybody raves about. I had yeah, those on. Yeah, the chicken Chicken dumplings in this Famous. time of years. So yeah, so you, you can't got, duplicate that recipe. Oh, oh, but coming back to Alex's, I mean, when it comes to seafood restaurants, you might have eaten at a lot of different seafood restaurants and stuff, but I baked you to come try this because I don't think there's one that's better on the East Coast than what they have. I mean, I know I'm sitting there watching you eat that crab cake and there ain't no cake. That's crab. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting there looking at every bite you take is where, where's the cake? You know, the cake holding it together. And they, make it, they make it fresh every week. Yeah. So and and, and, and they, beat it. And can't they have it. it to go. and to, to yeah, They got a weekend. retail case. You can buy fish to take home and cook or crab legs or, uh, you know, clams. Uh, they have they have like the uh, escargot and they have gator meat and they have uh, you know smelts and they have crawfish so like you can get it cooked but you can take it home and cook it too if you like to do your fish a certain way. All easy. all you can eat if you have eight eight fried shrimp coated with Alex's Hellfire hot sauce, hot apparently for the, not for the timid. If you eat apparently all they, they 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 suggest you wear gloves when you eat it. I don't even know what. Don't that touch means. your eyes, <laughs> but it's crazy. Uh, you eat all eight of them, and they'll hand you a T-shirt, and you'll be king. Has anybody done it yet? I don't know. I, uh, I have. Uh, I guess hit up Alex's Facebook page, and yeah, we'll yeah. have to check it out. But yeah, yeah. Well, we, we're gonna maybe we put. Probably, it, yes. Yeah, we'll put it to a test here. Maybe. I'll tell you, has anybody been able to do the all eight shrimp, <laughs> the Hellfire shrimp yet? Yeah. Really. Some people say it's not hot enough. Some people say it's too hot. That's interesting, you know. Come give it a shot. I it, don't know, man. Maybe we should have done it. Yeah, well, I was Maybe next say, time. I was going to say. Some other time. I think that last pickle turns you off to, to try. Oh, the hot pickle. Yeah, I'm still getting over uh, that. All right, stay with us. We're going to make our way through. we got a good candy store. We're going to go hit up some classic old-fashioned candy. Let everybody know about that. Yeah, yeah. And I want to remind candy. everybody, once again, uh, markets open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturday, 9 to 9. Sunday, 10 to 6. Located on Route 273. And Harris Corners, you would diagonally across from Newcastle County Airport. Real easy to get here. And uh, stay with us as we take you to uh, eat some candy now. <laughs> Flash back in time right now. We're going back to the 1960s. All you older folks <laughs> out there. 70s for me, yeah, dude. Yeah, 70s, 60s, 70s. Hey, all you older folks out there. This is the old candies from back in the day. Yeah, I mean, a lot you, of it. you can't find this. It, I'm, I'm looking here, sugar daddies, you know, and. I got a sugar daddy. Remember uh, those days, Oh, man? those were great. Pull those, those cavities right great. out of your <laughs> mouth. Razzle dazzles, remember these yeah, bad boys? Uh, Bottle well, those, caps? Those, those were 70 things. Eh? Bottle caps? And yeah. then these are some of my favorite when I was a kid, and still are, the BB bats, the little oh. flavored little taffy suckers. I, I tell you something. Bit of honey, come on, man. Caught my attention when I was here. Remember the soda cans you could get? Was that was that old school? Yeah, yeah. You get those, pop those open, and it, you know. But just anything and everything for all you adults Swedish out there fish. that think oh, candy stores just for kids. It's Forget not about when it. you come to Nut and Candy in Newcastle. Yeah, we're at Nut and Candy Market. right inside door five, and, and this is their bulk section, so you can come in and load a bag of whatever I, I, you yeah, love. It, it, and it's got all the the, the older stuff, you know the. What we call penny candy back in the day. You oh come man, in, remember those days? The penny oh, yeah. Swedish fish, the mini the fish, you get one for, for a penny. I love yeah, those. Yeah, now it's time for us to step back into this time period because when you talk about nut and candy, it's just not the older stuff. Come on. They've got anything the, uh, and everything. The wax bottles with the juice inside, remember those? <laughs> oh, oh God. I love those. I love those. It's a classic, Tim. Did so you they can eat, get so, these, so here the you can. Did you I, I, my first time, and then yeah, not again yeah. after that. <laughs> a lot of you people can do get, that. Um, so, so they have a, a, a huge selection of, of candy. Of course, they have, you know, uh, a chocolate case too for, uh, you know, more fancy stuff. But and, and I want to, I want to say something because we were talking about that earlier. Oh, wait, Di come on. Check diabetics, this out. Uh, they have the sugar-free candy out here as well. So don't forget about that. Get this, Dabs. Candy buttons. Remember those I remember bad boys? Remember those? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, what else do we got? Oh, pixie sticks. Pixie sticks. All the parents are loving us right now, Tim. Pixie sticks. Look there at that. You go. Pixie sticks. 
Come on, everyone does. This is how you. This is how you get your kids to like you know behave. You say, listen, I'm going to take your candy away if you don't yeah, uh, stop behaving. Another thing for the family when you're talking about family, there's not a kid out there that doesn't like to come through and look at candy and. It's not just the candy wrapped in the old oh, stuff. Oh man, check it out, wacko wax. Remember the wax fangs? Oh, I haven't seen those in years. I haven't seen those in a long time. <laughs> I haven't been in here in a while. Oh, the fake cigarettes. Yeah, the fake cigarettes, they were always good. Those are hilarious. Yeah. And then they have uh, some of the old classic candies. I love those uh, little fruit wedges, Tim. Those are great. The sugar coated but, all over but them. But they oh, make God. a lot of their stuff too. I mean, it's you know, you got yeah. This is a, they they bring this all in from their factory. So yeah. you know, and they, they're they're famous for their water ice over here, Philadelphia water ice, the original. People love that year round. Who cares, right? Who cares? Right? I, ice cream. I want to fresh, come. fresh roasted nuts. Yeah, well, that's they what I want to get right my here. way around uh, uh, around here, over here because. This is one of my favorite areas. If you're tired of spending big dollars on nuts at the grocery stores and around, let me tell you, you come here and you can get pounds and pounds and pounds of nuts, whatever kind of nut you can think of, at half the prices you can get at the grocery stores. I, it just it blows my mind. I come out here, I get my mix. I'm back. I had to eat some candy. You can make your own trail mix coming down through here, whatever you want in it. I mean, yeah, this is a you know you'll people all day long will come in and get their favorite favorite selection of uh, you know bulk nuts. You can uh, really uh, but the prices, the, the crazy. prices, the prices, Greg. That's, that's what gets me. I mean, when you look at how much you get for the price you can pay. It's just unbelievable. And these are fresh, folks. These are fresh each and every week right here at Newcastle Farmer's Market. What are you fresh, looking at? Fresh me? peanut butter. Peanut butter? Yeah, fresh peanut butter. They must oh. make it. They have a roaster back here, so you can get roasted, fresh roasted nuts. But uh, yeah, look at that, man. The oil's right in there. Look, that looks incredible. You'll have to try some of that. Well, I'm allergic, so I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> Still some, looks good. Got, got, got some yeah, bring it on for my kids. Got I'm some allergic. jelly going on with <laughs> that. Yeah, I have, a for, I have a deficiency. If you're looking for these nuts fresh or cranberries, candy. look at that, Sam. Make a little trail mix if you like to hike like me out in the woods. <laughs> Get all your favorite little stuff here. But the but, fresh roasted peanuts are a huge attraction. Yeah. I, I, and I love to come down here, like I said, and get my make my own trail mix. Yeah. I mix it all together, yeah, yeah, yeah. get this nut, get that nut, and then get some candies to throw in there to sweeten it up a little bit, and it's all here for you. Nothing and, candy. Uh, nothing candy here at Newcastle Farmer's Market. Once again, Good Friday, stuff, Saturday, man. Sunday, Friday, and Saturday, 9 to 9, Sunday, 10 to 6. Yep. And you haven't experienced the Newcastle Farmer's Market until you take a walk through the Pennsylvania Dutch section. And when you say the Pennsylvania Dutch section, one of the places I love to come into, the bakery section, we don't do it too much on TV, and I think it's important we put it out there because these guys yes, make sir. everything. Well, this is actually, yeah, they do. And this is actually their own sticky bun recipe. And you can get it, you know, with just the gooey, awesome sauce on it. And then you have raisins. You can get it with nuts or you can get it with the white frosting. And they make them right here, Tim. And there, uh, people come all over all over town, all and over New Jersey and Pennsylvania those, and Maryland. Gain a pound or two. You, yeah. I absolutely <laughs> think you could probably gain a pound or two eating these. So, yeah, oh, whole fresh cookies, fresh pies, fresh, um, fresh desserts. The, the cheese spreads here are incredible for for entertaining. And then you have uh, the, the, you have their awesome, uh, uh, you know, brownies and lemon bars and fresh rolls and baked goods. So it's a busy place. This this little section. They're only open two days. So they're not open on Sundays. Everything they do is fresh made this week. They come down from Lancaster, they stock everything up. They bring in uh, all their all their, all their their fresh meats and poultry. Cheeses. So really incredible. Yeah, their cheeses, I die for, I come out here. I they love nothing better than a good making your own cheese tray. And they got a, quite a selection of different cheeses to choose from. And like Greg said, a lot of it, Go Bills. They, they, they make this fresh each and every Guy had a Buffalo Bills hat. Yeah, you know, and uh, I want to come on out, out, out of here because when you say the Pennsylvania Duck section, that's the pantry of the Pennsylvania Duck section. But well, then that salad through. bar too, Tim. Don't forget to mention oh. these fresh macaroni and broccoli and cauliflower salad and beans and dumplings and oh I mean, my you, God. You can see this. This is, this is the slow day Friday here at the market. This is the slow day. Right yes, here. it is. It is. And you can just see the amount of people that come out here. Yeah. And don't think, hey, well, I'm not coming, you know, on Saturday or Sunday. 
this stuff comes out fresh every day. I mean, they, yeah, just, they just keep uh, bringing it in. They go through it all. Uh, it's pretty bare bones by the end of Saturday night, I, I would think. Uh, yeah. And you know, it's like, like I said, it's high quality, it's fresh, it's, uh, it's coming from a place that people know and trust. You know, he's been in the market, this family's been in the market, the Stoltzfus family see for that, over 60 years. See that years. sign right there, homemade fudge? And when they say homemade fudge, it is so good. Yeah, it is really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. it is. It's kind of people people know about it. Oh, and, and then they have hand dipped chocolates here. You can get uh, hand dipped strawberries, yeah, a yeah, lot of yeah. stuff. Um, and you know, uh, all baking essentials. So this is like a really. This store opened in 2008, along with what happened here was the the market expanded this section and Stoltzfus Meats and Stoltzfus Sausage and all those guys came over and we added a few new stores like the barbecue stand and uh, the donut stand and the pretzel, pretzel stand. stand. And one of Greg's favorites, he We got started, the fresh juices. Greg is the first customer that they have each Friday and Saturday because they're only open on Friday and Saturday. Yeah, I have the, I have the keys he, to the door he, so I can he, get in before they He open. gets in before it opens, it, but they're here at the crack of dawn because they, people, they bake these all this stuff right here at the market. They I mean, absolutely they, do. They, they you can watch it, it happen right in front of your eyes. Yeah, they, they come in here, they start early in the morning, and they get it ready, and they they sell it out daily. So oh, tomorrow yeah. morning, this is all going to be fresh. Oh, they make yet. it fresh every day, yeah. Oh, yeah. And no, no. it's just unbelievable the amount of people that come by here and buy dozens and dozens of donuts to nothing take home with, with them. There's nothing wrong with buying a dozen donuts yeah. for, a, for a family and friends. That's a great way to like go visit someone you haven't seen in a while. You bring them a pack of donuts. Oh, everybody bring will. Them, bring them some you fresh knock on a, strawberries. knock on a stranger's door and they'll let you in with donuts, you know. But it, when you're talking about it, they always, you what do you, how are What's you? What's up, Andre? I'm doing pretty well. And how are you guys doing today? You get up early to make the donuts? How do we get up early to make the donuts? You guys know better than that. <laughs> I, I love to ask that question because they get up so early. And, of course, one of the hottest areas here uh, in, in, in the market has been, this is what it started all, Pennsylvania Dutch, uh, you know, when you're talking about their sausage sandwich, it's just Stofus' sausage sandwich is known for, you know. Oh, yeah, man. People but I was are... amazed I did a survey. A lot of people get in line for hot dogs. I mean, so they got some of the best hot dogs. They got a lot of things. He's got you a great the ribs, sausage. The fryers, the barbecue, but they, they do it, everything, folks. If you're looking for something to entertain the family, especially in this time of year when it's kind of cold outside and everything else, and bring the family indoors what a day you can spend here at newcastle yeah, you farmers can definitely market spend a half a good day here uh you know again like the food is really a huge attraction here our produce stands of course the dutch section is a huge attraction but we got little shops all over the place we got great gift shops we got some dollar stores we have uh you know great beauty uh beauty uh su supply store i guess you call it yeah. with the makeup and the, you know the shampoos great prices top name brands um, and we just spend save, hardly, you gotta save money these days. Everyone's really, pension pennies, you know, that's just you get, everyone's got prices are going up and you know people are looking for a way to save money. So come out here and visit us, save some money and get some good food and some good fun for sure. And, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday nine and nine, uh, Sunday ten to six. This the section's closed section, on Sundays. Yeah, and we forgot that's to do, okay. They're here Friday and Saturday. For produce you. And it's time for you to say your deal. All right, visit us at newcastlefarmersmarket.com and we'll see you at the market. You can find